Hi guys. Hello, my lovelies. Oh, can you hear the beautiful birds? They sound so lovely. So, I am outside right now. I'm going to switch my camera around quickly. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Okay. So, I am back with another brand new, after so long, a brand new 365 Reasons to Wake Up Everyday Movement. We've got the birds in the back. They're all like, yeah, like I'm ready for this. I'm just going to turn the music down a little bit. Um, so I wanted to come on here because I wanted to speak about something that is really, really special to me. And that is my 365 Reasons to Wake Up Everyday Movement. So I do have a, a, a beautiful bunch of you who are my subscribers to my movement. You've joined my movement. And you did that simply by going to bit.ly.com slash 365 Reasons to Wake Up. And when you do that, you get a love letter in your inbox every Monday. It's a love letter directly from me. It's in the morning and it's got lots of positivity, tons of, um, you know, light and inspiration, meditations. It's got, you know, breathing exercises and affirmations that I share. But there's always a topic of the week. And this week's topic is drum roll. <laughs> The bird is going to be the drum roll today, okay. Yeah, what do you have to say for yourself? I'm just interviewing the birds. Oh, okay, lovely. Thank you for sharing. Um, <laughs> they've been chirping. I just did a Facebook Live and they were chirping the whole way through. It's beautiful. I love nature. I love it. The sounds of nature. Um, so today's reason for waking up is... This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. My reason for waking up today is my inner spotlight, my, my, you know, this little light of mine. How often do you wake up and you've been given a task? So whether you're an artist or not, uh, whether you literally go on stage or you don't, whether you're in a classroom or an office, but you've got to perform in some kind of way. How many times do you feel like you don't deserve to take up space? that you don't deserve to own the room or speak your mind or just use your voice to be heard. How many times do you feel like that? So if I was here with you face to face, I'd be like, how many hands? But um, so for those of you who know me, know that I am, I'm an artist. I love to sing, I love to perform. I've been performing on stage since I was a child, um, since I was a teen really, but I got into music when I was about 10. And I realized that somewhere along the way, I stopped inviting that inner child to come out and play. Um, I would let the stress and the anxiety take over and I, I, I felt like, wait a minute, do I deserve to take up space? on the stage? Do I deserve to be here? Do I, you know, why am I shrinking myself to make others feel good? How many times have you shrunk yourself, shrunk, to make yourself play small at life, to, to make yourself feel small in a way, to make others around you feel better, to make yourself not feel guilty for taking up attention or or, you know, you're dimming your light. How many times have you done that? It happens all the time. We do it some, sometimes, you know, subconsciously, not even being aware of it. And so I wanted to speak to that and I wanted to give you some affirmations to get out of that funk. I just did a, 
um, a post about that recently and so that post is really sharing you know uh, enough of that enough of that mentality of playing it small I just as much as anyone else as do you deserve to own the room you deserve we deserve to own the spotlight yes the little birdies like yes absolutely even even she or he deserves to own the spotlight you deserve to own space you deserve to take up space don't feel bad about moving all the way around the room or on stage if you're a performer take up space you've earned it just for being yourself you really have so that's what my topic is today and I wanted to get into some oracle readings I did an oracle reading just on Facebook I'm doing another one now because I want to see there's been some uh, interesting cards that have popped out but I wanted to just come on here and, and speak to you guys about this topic why do we do this to ourselves why do we shrink ourselves is it because we're not only trying to make others feel better around us But is it because we're afraid of success? Is it because we're afraid of what would happen if you know, I, I put myself out there fully? Or is it because we're afraid of what people will think about us? Probably all three and more. So why don't we do a little bit of affirmations? Hello, thank you for joining. Why don't we do some affirmations? Let's get into a nice meditative spot. Now you can choose a meditative spot in your house, in your office, wherever you are. So I want you to put your hands in prayer pose. You can put your hand on your heart, put your hand on your belly, it doesn't matter. But I want you to take some deep breathing, take some deep breaths with me. We're gonna count in for five, we're gonna then Pause for two and exhale. Um, before I get into this, I, I wanted to give you a bit of feedback about, or rather uh, background information about my 365 movement. So uh, about four or five years ago, I'd been through some significant losses in my life. It was a very difficult time and um, luckily I was working with a great company. Uh, it's a marketing agency, wonderful team you know, kind of kept me going, kept that smile on my face, but I was really waking up with uh, a feeling of dread. I was waking up not wanting to get out of bed. I was getting panic attacks. Even about the smallest events, I would get panic attacks. I would get anxiety attacks or just a feeling of anxiety as well. And these things often happen when you've been through a lot in a short period of time. It happens. It's normal. It makes you human. Does it make you bad for having anxiety? It would be worrying if you didn't have some level of anxiety. So I created a list. I created this 365 reasons to wake up everyday movement. A list of reasons to look forward to. There are reasons to remind myself that life is worth waking up for something good to you know just wake up to look forward to in the day and I had 365 reasons to look forward to and so if you guys want to know you want to join my movement you want to you know wake up inspired every Monday morning because Mondays are a bit of a drag for a lot of us but they don't have to be they don't have to be I'm, I'm here to change that join my movement go to bitly.com and join bitly.com at uh, bitly.com slash 365 reasons to wake up and once you do that you'll have access to my weekly love letters you'll also be able to get first access to my podcast it's my love letter notes podcast and it's um Otherwise, something you can find at anchor.fm slash love letter notes. And if you have my love letter, if you're subscribed, I will um, often read the love letter out loud. And so if reading is not your thing, you can literally open up that love letter in your phone, listen to the podcast, 
and just follow along. So it's really cool. All right, I'm going to do some oracle card readings now. We'll get into some, um, you know what, we'll do this after. We'll do some deep breathing. No. <laughs> We'll do the oracle cards first. Oops, dropped a few. <laughs> I dropped a few cards. Oh no, okay, well, too bad. Oops, too bad, too sad. So what messages does the universe have for me right now in this space as I sit with my Instagram family or my YouTube family, what messages do you have for me when it comes to stepping into the spotlight and owning the room? Okay, I'm gonna pick five more cards. What messages does the universe have for me? What messages does the universe have for me on this beautiful summer's day for my beautiful 365 family? One more for good luck. Perfect. So stay tuned until the end of this video and I will read those live just for you. Six beautiful cards here. Oh, I can't, really, I can't wait to get into that. So, meditation time. I told you earlier just to find a, a nice, comfortable spot in your home or wherever you are. And I want you to imagine now that there is a beautiful, bright pink ball of energy, like a, a ball of light, an energy ball. And it's going to be rising from the pit of your stomach all the way up your chest, your esophagus, or your windpipe. Um, your neck up until your crown of your head and as you breathe in for five that ball of light is going to come up with you I want you to imagine it coming up with you that pink ball of light represents love it represents positivity it represents your inner light you can even imagine a, a bright yellow light if you want but I want you to imagine it's coming up to the crown of your head you're going to pause for two seconds, okay? Take a pause of two breaths and then exhale for five. And imagine that ball of light coming down to the bottom of your stomach again or your low back. And as you do that, I'm just going to put this music up. As you do that, I want you to imagine that ball of light expanding. I want you to imagine it's growing, it's getting bigger. And it's, it's that positive ray of light, if you like. It's spreading that love to everyone around you, to the world around you. But first of all, we've got to nourish ourselves, don't we? So we're going to take that deep breath in now for five seconds. So we're going to breathe in, bring that ball of light with you. Just going to breathe in for five, four, three, two one and pause for one and two now bring that ball of light down and exhale with me five four three two one beautiful again in for five four three two one yes yeah, center yourself for one two and out for five four three, two, one. I just noticed that my dress matches nature. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to give you some affirmations. Affirmation number one is you keep breathing with me. Listen to my voice. You can repeat what I say or just listen. And then you can replay this video back. Um, you can replay it. I'll post it after I'm done. 
and you can rewind and watch it again and, and listen back and repeat the affirmations if you want at a later time. But there's no time like the present, so try to do this with me now. Affirmation number one is I keep breathing in and out. I refuse to play small. I refuse to play small. I will no longer let others intimidate me into dulling my shine. I will no longer dull my light or my shine or sparkle for anyone ever again. The minute I walk into the room, so affirmation number three, two or three if you like, doesn't matter about the number. The minute I walk into the room, I own the spotlight. I own that light and I take up space. I don't have to apologize for that. I don't have to apologize for taking up space or taking up room. I deserve to take up space simply by being me, simply by just being myself. I deserve to be there just as much as everyone else and I deserve to be heard. I deserve to be seen. I deserve to be seen and I mean really seen. Has anyone ever truly seen you? Have you ever felt like anyone truly sees you? If you have that kind of friendship or love, I highly, highly encourage you to protect that because that's what we all want, isn't it? To be truly seen. And that's what stepping into the spotlight ultimately comes down to, is being seen. It doesn't have to literally mean the spotlight if you're not an artist, but if you are, you'll resonate with that. Um, there was a time I felt kind of guilty or unworthy of, of stepping onto the stage and like, do I deserve to take up space? I, I'm just gonna stay small. I'm just gonna stay in the center and not move and you know, let's just get this over with kind of thing. And I love performing. And performing isn't about that, right? I'm glad that I took some much needed time for myself over the last two years to, to go from, you know, going out every other weekend or performing often to just taking a step back. I'm very spiritual and uh, I've, uh, been able to become more spiritual in the last two years or so um, with my meditation and affirmations and just attract more positivity and and allow myself to grow my confidence so that when I do finally get back on stage I'm in a much better place to do that and to really be present and enjoy that moment to enjoy that spotlight so again own the room I deserve to turn heads, I deserve to be seen, I deserve to be heard, I deserve to express myself and express my voice. I deserve to own the spotlight. I highly, highly encourage you, when you get the chance, own it, own who you are. Don't ever dull your light for anyone. Don't play small. No more playing small. All right. It's getting a bit chilly. <laughs> so I have some beautiful affirmation cards here. I'm gonna share them with you now, so keep watching. Our first affirma or oracle card reading, which is like an affirmation. Time for a nap. Time for a nap. So it's literally the, a fox sleeping on the moon. It's beautiful. A little fox sleeping. So this weekend, maybe you need some rest. Maybe you just need some time to rest up and to just be with yourself. Time for a nap. Chill out. Rest. Recuperate recover. This one came earlier. It's so interesting how cards repeat. I, I did three oracle card readings today and the same cards keep popping up. Um, pretty cool. 
Some knew, but Treasure Island is your next card. Treasure Island. So this says to me, you have something precious, something valuable that you want to keep safe. It's just something special. It's yours. Or maybe you just need to retreat to an island within yourself. Comes back to that, you know, me time. Or cherishing and, and really looking after the things that are important to you. A relationship with yourself, with others. Maybe something sentimental. So, treasure island, guys. Your keepsakes. Hold on to those. Protect them. Keep an eye on them this weekend. Milk and honey. Ah, life is always sweeter with a bit of milk and honey, isn't it? A little bit of honey is all we need. A bit of sweetness. So milk. Milk is uh, cleansing. Honey is also detoxifying. Detoxify yourself. Literally have a milk and honey bath, maybe. <laughs> Uh, there's a cute little baby elephant in a, a tiny bowl having a milk and honey bath. Pretty cute. Why do people have milk and honey baths? Because it cleanses their skin, but it also cleanses your soul, detoxifies you, right? Hello. Hello, my friend. Hi, Davinda. Hi, Dee. <laughs> Oh, it's awesome coming on here and just seeing friends pop on to watch. Thank you so much. So, milk and honey. Take some time for self-care. Milk is often not sweet. Just like life is not always sweet. But with a little bit of honey, it can become sweet. So, how can you make things sweeter this weekend? How can you do that for yourself? How can you take care of you? Pamper yourself. So, oh, thank you so much, Dee. He says, I've missed you. Love what you do. Thank you so much. I'm sending you so much love right now. I really am. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. And uh, I missed you too. Absolutely. So, our next card is peace. Peace. A beautiful bird landing on now either it's um, their nesting, it's their egg, or depending how you look at it, they've just set themselves free. They have flown off. They've taken flight, but more so than anything, they are finding peace. And I sincerely hope that this weekend you find some peace. So there's a lot going on. We're getting into summer, we're getting into events. Stampede is coming up. Very exciting. Who's going to go see Kevin Costner at the Stampede Parade? <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. My mum the other day, she's like, we're going to go see Kevin Costner at the Stampede Breakfast. 8am in the morning. And I'm like, okay, perfect. Maybe I can ask him to be my bodyguard. <laughs> so cheesy. I know. So cheesy. Um, but I definitely highly encourage you, amongst all the busyness of summer, that you take time for you. Get some peace. This one has come three times today. Must mean something. All that glitters. Complete the sentence. All that glitters is not gold. All that glitters is not gold. So, just like I was saying, you know, I, I, I used to go out quite often before the pandemic. Events and concerts and performing and things like that. But amongst all that kind of glam and glitter... I needed to take time for me. I needed to take time out and, you know, literally take off the, the glitz and the glamour and just get into my sweatpants. And I literally am that girl that, as much as I enjoy to dress up, I love to dress down and get into my sweatpants, tank top, hoodie, 
and just be myself. Um, so they're literally taking the mask off here. But also remember, there is beauty in imperfection. There is beauty in imperfection. There is beauty behind the scenes too. Um, so my last card is to the sea. And this one came up today as well. I swear I shuffled the cards, but it came up again. So to the sea, we have a little fairy who... My music's not playing. Where's my music? We have a little fairy who is out to sea. She's finding her direction. She's finding where she belongs. And... Sorry, guys. I'm just going to reload my music. Um... She's finding where she belongs. She's recentering herself. She's, you know, kind of re collaborating, if you like, that, um, or centering that compass. She's finding her sense of direction. She's finding herself. So, just like I said, you know, find yourself this weekend, uh, have some me time, get back to you. It's okay to do that. She's doing exactly that find yourself. I hope that you find yourself this weekend. I really do. And as my music conked out, it's all good. <laughs> um, that's, you know, the beauty of, of live videos for you. No worries. I'm not going to stress that. All right, guys. So with that being said, let's just kind of center ourselves as we get into the, you know, it's uh, coming up to nine, just past nine o'clock here. Um, wouldn't think it because it's absolutely beautiful outside absolutely lovely um again just to remind you step into the spotlight and own it own who you are with every fiber of yourself own the essence of you own the room don't apologize for that you don't have to justify it take up space don't be afraid to take up space You've earned it. You deserve to be here in this moment, right now, exactly where you're meant to be. You deserve to be here. And I think another powerful thing is to say, wherever you are right now in this moment, that's where you're meant to be. That's exactly where you're meant to be there is something very valuable in that moment to teach us and so if you ever feel you know discouraged or you feel the call to play it small to sell yourself short i i want to encourage you i hope you hear my voice in that moment i want to stop you in your tracks right there and encourage you to take a stand for yourself take a stand for yourself Step up, own your voice, own who you are, say what you feel, say it with love, say it kindly, say it, you know, lovingly, but don't let anyone shut you up. Don't ever let anyone intimidate you, ever again. So with that being said, I think it's the perfect time to just center out, get that breathing done. So let's breathe in. Okay, so in for five, four, three, two, one, and bring that ball of light with you, getting stronger. The cutest little birds are over there, oh my god. Okay, and we're gonna pause for one and two, and breathe out for five, four, three, two, one, and in again for five, four, three, two, one, and two. And bring that light back down to center as you exhale for five, four, three, two, one. I was watching um, a talk show. Um, it was with uh, Jeannie May. 
Uh, is it called The Real? It's a talk show that just ended. I love the, the ladies on it. And she said, uh, Jeannie Mae, she said something that was really, really powerful. And it stuck with me. And she said, own you before they do. Own you before they do. I mean, I think that's self-explanatory. It doesn't need anything more than that. I think this is the perfect time to end today's live. Thank you so much for joining me for your time today. Sending you so much love. Before I go, I just want to remind you, sign up for my love letters and join and support my 365 Reasons to Wake Up Everyday movement. It's a little bit of positivity and light and love to just send you off on your Monday morning, whatever it is that you have you know, to look forward to that day. Mondays don't have to be a drag and I'm here to show you that. So I hope that you join my 365 family. Go to bit.ly.com slash 365 reasons to wake up. I think these birds are like, yes, I want to join. Like, can you hear them singing? Ah, oh, I love it. I love, I love, 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 love. Um, I love hearing the birds chirp in the morning. It's, it's really beautiful. Um, and other than that, I want to remind you as well, check out my blog, arrayofsand.ca. The best way to get access to that, if that link doesn't work for you, go to sangeeta.ca and click on blog, click on that um, image that pops up, you'll see my blog right there. Or just go to https um, or http. Um, arrayofsand.ca that's my blog I'm always posting there and it's gaining a lot of you know attention so that's really cool other than that I have my podcast which you can listen to love letter notes anchor.fm slash love letter notes and you know I, I often try to synchronize my love letters with my podcast so you guys can listen along as you look at my love letter or if you're not into reading you can listen I had to take out some time for school um, as of recently so if the podcast link is not in my love letter don't worry there's tons of podcasts for you to listen to tons of episodes I will be back with brand new podcasts very soon I did add some back um, not too long ago so check those out but I hope to be back at that soon um, probably this weekend or in the, the week coming. <laughs> the birds are like, shut up already. Um, no, no, I'm just joking. Um, uh, thank you, Dee. Thank you so much for your time. And before I go, something very exciting. If you want to learn how to sing the safe way, the fun way from me online via Zoom, anywhere in the world, wherever you are in the world, then go to singida.ca, click on health or vocal health coaching to find out more. I'm offering online lessons, especially over the summer, for all ages. And you can just literally DM me right here on Instagram or whatever platform you're watching this on. Um, and I am, as of recently, a certified um I'm a certified vocal health first aider. That means that I can listen. If there's something going on with your voice, I can, you know, refer you out to a, a voice specialist or I can give you safe vocal exercises so you don't damage your voice. But if you're not looking for that, if you're not a professional singer or if you are a professional singer or if you're a hobbyist or a singing enthusiast, or a beginner, whatever you are with singing, whatever wherever you're at, I will gladly teach you to sing and you know share my passion with you. So get in touch with me and I look forward to doing that with you. But right now I'm gonna wish you love and light. Thank you so much and have an amazing rest of your weekend. Take care, be safe. Bye for now. <laughs>